in this video we're going to focus on adjusting these specific points here as you can see here into a nice image that we have so it will be quite interesting because with this you can create or replace all your points with different styles including images or shapes as you can see here but to give it another dimension or to color the chart more in a, another unique way so let's explore how to do this in this video we're going to explore how to replace points of a line with an image in chart.js so with this you can create a bit more interactive or a bit more colorful chart design although it's not always that practical but let's start to explore how to do this first of all we're going to get our starter template just make sure you go to chartjs3.com slash getting started and in here there's a video that explains exactly the instructions about this but i'll just copy this and if you want to un understand what i did here please watch that video and then what we're going to do is we're going to paste this in here and then we're going to move this title in there all right so once you paste that i'll save this refresh there we are so we have this here this is a bar chart let's create or convert it into a line chart save that refresh all right so we have this here i do not like this a bit let's do a tiny adjustment here tension 0 0.4 all right so with this we can start to adjust these points here and we can put it in an image we can put a square etc etc you can do all kinds of things with it so let me show you first how we would be able to adjust that so we go here in the options and then we're going to say here elements and in the elements we're going to say a point and then we so we pinpoint the the point which is basically this point radius or point or circles what we call this now and by default we can see a point style the default setting would be a circle which is a string value circle so if I save this here make sure you have a comma here or else you can error all right so this is a circle you can see nothing has changed let's change this into a triangle and you can see I'm not sure if you're seeing it clearly but it's now a different shape all right so this is fine however we want to put in an image here so how can we do an image so let's go to well I'll just grab here the chart yes image I'm going to copy this link here I'll say copy the image address so we're going to use this icon here and we want to put that in here instead of these triangles you can even put squares etc etc all right to do this all we need to do here in JavaScript we're going to say the following we're going to create a constant which will have the image name so let's say here a point image and then we say here new image and then we have here this so I will leave this blank for now and after we're going to work on that one and once we have that then all we have to say here is we have the point image so which we here indicated this is creating a new image and then we get here the source code and then the source is of course this specific item here all right so once I do this we're not done yet we're going to copy this point image value and we place it in here and what I will do is I'll just show you uh, some random options we can do this and then we say circle and then we do here triangle and maybe do again here a point image so once we have this we can save this refresh oh you can see here there's an error all right let's double check what the error a uh, new image is not defined uh, where are we new image is not defined oh all right sorry the reason why this is not working of course is like that it must be new space image there we are and now we get this wonderful point in the chart so maybe you like this or maybe not or maybe you say well this icon would be too big well there's two ways to do it first of all you're going to upload the file and then you convert it into a proper uh, size but that's not always practical what we can do is to force here a size we just say here let's say uh, 15 pixel by 15 meaning the x to y is 15 or sorry x left to right from left to right 15 or width 15 height 15 as well now refresh you can see here now our item it becomes smaller is it always practical you have to check because you can see here 
when we hover over the image, we need to be exactly on this dot point. Or else we don't get the tooltip. We can expand the tooltip here or the hover radius that will be uh, that will be in here. But in this case, we can ignore that for now. But there's a, a command for that. That's somewhere in here. Well, let's let's add it up here just to make sure. So to complete that, hover background hover dash. Um, let's see. I'm defined now. Point 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 hit radius if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the or the point hover radius. Let me double check. Click here. Point background color. All right. The point hover. The radius of the point when hovered. All right. This is the one we need. So let me check what's the default option here. So this is a number. By default, it is four. So this is the one we need to pinpoint. So let's do this right now. Comma. Add this up here. And I say instead of four, let's make this fifteen pixels, which is matching with our image size. That's fifteen by fifteen. So if we go in here, and let's see if I did I save this correctly, the point hover radius. All right, doesn't work yet. All right, I figured out what it was. Sorry, it should be not the point hover radius. It should be the point hit radius. The pixel size of a non-displayed point that reacts to mouse events. That's the one. All right, so I'm going to copy this, put it in here. 15 pixels and maybe it should not even be 15 pixels but 7 by 7 because you can see here now the one we are getting very close with 15 pixels from this point here anywhere in the radius then it will be triggered but if this is a 15 by 15 the center should be 7 or it should be 7 and a half to be exactly matching with the image so let's go back here and now we have it nicely all right so that's basically how you can add a image in the point to make it a bit more appealing you can even add another image here so as you can see here we could do another image that would be image number two let's do that one just for fun although i just will duplicate this but i will just say image two and so you can see the difference and we make this 30 pixels save that and there you are so now you can see here we have this one that's this is the smaller one bigger one and that's it